Ukrainian army attack occupiers with helicopters which USA purchased from Russia. MI-17 helicopters, which were purchased by the United States from Russia during the war in Afghanistan, have been spotted in service of the Ukrainian army, Defense Express draws attention. The video of the Ukrainian helicopters was shared by the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade of Magura. The helicopter with Ukrainian symbols completed the task and left the battlefield. By the way, the MI-17 helicopter was caught on the footage. This is a Russian helicopter which the United States previously bought in the Russian Federation to transfer to the power structures of Afghanistan. The helicopters left the country after the withdrawal of US troops in August 2021, the analysts explained. Joe Biden announced the transfer of these helicopters in April 2022. Already in June, the first confirmations of using these birds at the front appeared. The MI-17V-5 military stroke transport helicopter is designed to carry personnel, cargo and equipment inside the cargo cabin or on an external sling, drop tactical air assault forces and reconnaissance and sabotage groups, destroy ground targets and carry the wounded. Additional versions of the helicopter are available. Search and rescue, firefighting, ambulance and corporate. The helicopter is equipped with a modern avionics suite, providing round-the-clock employment of the helicopter and weapons. The basic version is used to fulfill military, police and civilian tasks. It is equipped with an effective system of air defense against infrared navigation missiles. Its armament system includes unguided rockets, cannons and small arms. The helicopter is fitted with a self-defense system against heat-seeking missiles, heavily armored cockpit, vital systems and components and features enhanced survivability. Russian spy activity in US and Europe higher than in Cold War. Russia has stepped up its intelligence work in the West and is innovating its spycraft, the Financial Times reported, citing interviews with analysts and intelligence officials. Last week's leak of a recording in which German Air Force officers discussed potential ways of helping Ukraine use Taurus missiles to target Russia's Crimean bridge while maintaining plausible deniability of involvement was Moscow's most explosive propaganda coup so far this year, the outlet said. But it was only one example of Russia's reinvigorated competence in the world of spying, according to its sources. Russian activities are as high or even higher than during the Cold War, one of them said. Another described Russian intelligence as a huge machine, adding that it was back doing what it always did. Most of the interviews were conducted before the German leak. In 2022, Western nations tried to undermine Moscow's intelligence networks by expelling hundreds of diplomats on suspicions that they may be working covertly for intelligence services. In hindsight, this move may have made counterintelligence more difficult, one of the agents said. You would invite them round to the house, have drinks, introduce the family, make them realize you are a human being, cultivate trust. It was basic the source said, explaining how having the Russians around had its benefits. Moscow has ramped up the use of illegals, agents without diplomatic cover, as well as proxy agents such as foreign nationals drawn from politics, business and organized crime, the article claims. There are also concerns in the West that critics of the Russian government who have fled to other nations amid the Ukraine conflict could be pressured by Moscow into cooperation. Some of the complaints were about neutral European nations such as Austria and Switzerland as well as Russia-friendly Serbia allegedly serving as bases of operation for Russian officers. One source claimed that nearly a third of Russian operations on the continent are run from the safe hubs of Vienna and Geneva. Turkey and the UAE are likewise used as staging posts for Moscow's operatives, the newspaper was told. The Russians are such klutzes, an intelligence source said. But the official conceded they can also do some very sophisticated operations that, in intelligence terms, are stupendously cool. Russia is deploying its army to the borders of Europe. NATO's military exercises have angered Moscow. 
Russia has strengthened its military forces in the north and west of the country to counter what Moscow perceives as a buildup of NATO forces near Russia, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said. In response to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, Finland has joined NATO and Sweden is on the point of doing so. NATO is this week conducting a military exercise called Nordic Response 2024, which it says will involve more than 20,000 soldiers in Norway, Finland and Sweden, and will focus on collective defence. Against the background of a build-up of NATO's military potential near the Russian borders, the expansion of the alliance through the accession of Finland and, in the future, Sweden, we have taken steps to strengthen the groupings of troops in the northwestern and western strategic directions, Shoigu told top generals without providing details. We need to be able to fight back and stop anyone who tries to challenge our border's values and democracy. So said Brigadier Tron Strand of the Royal Norwegian Air Force as a major military exercise involving 20,000 soldiers, 50 naval vessels and more than 100 aircraft, from 15 different countries including the UK, new NATO member Finland and soon-to-be member Sweden got underway in Scandinavia. Exercises such as Nordic Response 2024, due to run until mid-March, are vital in helping to ensure that the sum of NATO's parts proves to be effective when required to operate as a whole. European countries tend to want to each have the full spread of armed forces, which means there is much duplication of capabilities, not to mention bureaucracy, which is a problem for the alliance.